So it's all come down to this. Mixed doubles pro. Look at the tournament, how it shaped out. Johnson Waters get by Stratman and McGuffin in the semis. Meanwhile, Parento and Newman squeak past Irvin and DeVillier. Riley Newman, so impressive in men's doubles, trying to ride that momentum here into mixed doubles. Love the ways he is yeah. right now. And Catherine Parento, Dave, this combination, they are absolute dynamite. Yeah, they're a terrific pair, obviously two of the best players. So when you bring two of the best players together, you're going to create havoc on the other side. And, you know, Riley Newman is going to be thinking about that last ball he hit in the men's match for a while because he desperately wanted to will him and AJ over the finish line. Rarely do you get another chance at the same opponent, in this case, Ben Johns. Colin is not going to be showing up here today in the mixed final, but uh, it's a tough team. Anna Lee Waters. Well, you have to wonder, she's played two matches so far today. The last one only went three games, so didn't take that much out of her. Ben Johns had a game to rest. He was getting stretched out over there on the table arena. The staff was just making sure that he was ready to go, and here we go. They go to make history. Yes, Anna Lee and Ben are definitely a dynamic duo. Anna Lee, we're going to see a change in style from Anna Lee um, relative to how she plays women's doubles. We're going to see her slide right and look to hit a lot of inside and backhands from the right side of the court. Um, Ben's going to probably play pretty similar to the way he played in men's doubles. So no adjustment for him there. But um, looking for some exciting hand battles, some sick tricks, and some come-ons. What else can we ask for? And maybe some triple crowns. And, you know, I think when you look at the way that men's match finished, when they just dug in, when Colin and Ben, it required their best when maybe they didn't have that level the whole day. They had it in spurts. So does that mean Ben shows up with his highest level here and he and Anna Lee ride this. Um, Riley's desperate to get revenge and Catherine making her first appearance here today on Championship Sunday. You know she wants this title. I think uh, Ben's, Ben's dynamic and mix is also a little bit different. Um, I think Anna Lee kind of keeps him in check and keeps his energy going versus uh, Ben and CJ can kind of just fall into a little bit sleepy pattern and neither one of them cares to do anything about it. But Anna Lee basically has got Ben under control. She's going to fire him up. and. Um, Zero, zero, yep, she's fired up herself right now and doing some kangaroo jumps. <laughs> Underway mixed doubles here at the Red Rock Open. And Riley Newman what? able to score first. One, zero, two. Parento may be the key in this match, Dave. She's coming in fresh, the only player that hasn't played today. Yeah, that can be an advantage and disadvantage, actually, because everybody else on the court has felt the ball and the conditions. What's the wind like? Uh, but as far as body feeling good, without question, she's got that going for her. Second serve. Man, he was uh, Geppetto pulling the strings all over that point, Zero, one, but uh, Ben was not able to finish it. We had a left-handed retrieval by Riley there. And we had an inside-out two-handed backhand dink from Ben, yes. also a one, rare zero, animal. One. It just tells you how much he shifted in that point. Second serve. And again, the One, pace zero, of play with these four players is outrageous. I mean, Catherine sprints to the line. She's one of the fastest players. Hmm. Side out. Happy to report the built sign was able to withstand that. <laughs> zero, one, one. Point. Marina, you've had busy days playing one, on this one, circuit one. after you've played a singles then you got to play a doubles and 
how much toll physically does it take on your body? And then the motions are so high, of course, as they are right now with, in the case of Anna Lee. But when you have that special adrenaline, you know, like AJ Kohler said, it doesn't matter. Once you start playing, you kind of forget about all of this. You focus on the what? ball and just your desire to, to play your best and compete hard. And then you think about other things later and actually Two, not one, thinking one. about how tired you might be or how long you've been playing will help your energy. Positive thoughts. That's the key. Second ben serve. calls that ball out on himself. Yes, he did. Two, one, two. No protest from <laughs> Catherine and Riley. No, Riley did not have a problem with that call at all. Oh, beauty by Catherine. Right Just held it and went inside. In there. Nice. One, two, one. Mm. Yeah, Dan, Dan was looking to set up an Ernie probably two, two, with that one. forehand roll. He was going to go to Catherine's forehand and potentially look to jump the kitchen, but just a miss there. All right, at this point, he finds a different way Second, to attack. He's like, if I can't dink, I'm just going to speed up. Two, two, two. Right yeah, and for Anna Lee, you're coming off. You're the alpha on your team with mm -hmm. your mom. You just played singles. It's you two, two, only, one. and now you are in more of a deferential role. That's the challenge for her, and obviously this team's undefeated, so they have made it work, and it's getting better and better, but it's just a different approach she has to Second take. Second server. Absolutely. I would argue Lee two, was the two, alpha two. today. Yeah, she she definitely <laughs> was pushing pushing forward a lot and uh, obviously a key part of that victory. Side two, out back two, now one. to Parento and Newman. Chasing it down. Best point of the match so far. Oh. Boy, Riley is like the inspector gadget of pickleball. He is. He can get to anything. And then the athleticism of Three, two, both one. ladies to keep the ball going, especially Anna Lee as she came flying around the court. Realize a lot of young players may not know who that is. <laughs> it's a guy whose arms can Three, extend two, two. for miles. <laughs> Just break it down for everybody. Hmm. Side up. Yeah, and if Ben can keep finding that angle on. Catherine, it's Two, three, hard one. to find a safe place to put the ball because then the angle to get it back to Anna Lee is so narrow, it's sharp. And she knows better to avoid line because of the Ernie, so yep. that's definitely a tough spot. Riley working to open up the court a little bit. Could be the battle of the back three, end, three, so Riley versus Anna Lee. Staring each other down, they'll be looking at each other all day. Yeah. And perhaps a overhead to go with the two-hander there, Irina. Yes. 
Four, three, one. Ben John's using the AJ Kohler. Kidding. <laughs> Second server. Sort of that. Shovel. <laughs> yes. Shovel hook. Here for life. Four, three, two. Out. Side out. So it's interesting. Ben was really going for a serve early in the men's doubles match at the end. The three, four, one. Back to basics approach. They were just getting in. He went after that one, caught the tape, and went deep. Showed the two-hander a little bit there for a second. Yeah. Oh. Second serve. And Ali knows that the ball is gonna, when she redirected it at Riley, she knows the Three, ball is four, gonna two. come back, but she is sitting on the counter and the next shot or Point. two are the ones that are gonna win her points if Riley can get through her. Yeah, and she's got four, the four, hand two. speed that can handle that pace, so she's happy to go there. It's a deadly place for many. Side out. And the Newman willpower of those dinks that he tries to get some higher power to get four, him four, get to go over did not work there. Tied at four. Yeah. Oh, Point. shot by Anna Lee. And shot. if you wondered if it was in or not, the yell, yeah, gave you everything you needed Five, to four, know. One. Second server. Just a little bit long. Five, four, two. about this play. Ben Johns has the final say. Yeah, Catherine was more than happy to go head to head with Ben there and it's even. Yeah, good work by Catherine there. Six, A couple four, of two. fadeaways as soon as she knew that she got the ball away from Ben, she regained her position, defended a few more shots and then finally Ben got the edge with an Ernie. Mm. Side out. Love the way Catherine plays the game, Arena. Yeah, that was a good combo with the, she has a lot of variety in her game, mm -hmm. uh, all around Four, style. Six, nice lob, pushing Anna Lee back. A good lob and pick a ball doesn't necessarily have to go over someone's head and bounce. As long as you can push them three or four steps back and take away the power, it's gonna be hard to hit the ball down. Then you can capitalize on the next ball. And that's exactly what Catherine did. Lee tried to use Catherine's yes. play in here, and um, she actually was about to be successful. I think she kind of forgot to shift forward Five, six, afterwards, and Riley took advantage of that extra space at the end of the point. Yeah, because when you Second, hear seven. lob, you think, oh, we need to be in defensive posture, but Five, an six, offensive two. lob, you need to have you and your partner push forward because the reply is likely to be weak. And yes, you don't want to lose that opportunity. Yes, yeah, so you have to read the body language of your opponent and Side observe out. how they're preparing to hit that lob. If they're in kind of dynamic, aggressive position and it looks like they're going to slam the ball down, then you want to back up Six, and five, defend. One. But if you see them with their back turned and kind of reaching for the ball, that's your indication that you wanna, you're want you on the offense now and hold the kitchen line. Look to stay aggressive. Tightly played here thus Second far. Server. 6-5, now to the second serve for Waters and Johns. 
Yeah, there's that shoveling dink motion again that Six, comes five, up two. a little short off the John's paddle. That's a beautiful ball on the to long run for Parento to Seven, five, two. unwind that stack there if the return comes up short. And she probably didn't see the ball most of the time she was running because Riley's presence in the middle was kind of blocking the view for her. And then she saw the ball last minute. And it was also very Side well up. struck, so tough situation for Catherine and Riley. Sometimes if that's a pattern, uh, we could potentially see a no switch Five, yes. seven, on the return like this. But uh, they got burned only once right now, so they're probably not too worried. Six seven, you're in game one. If you're just joining us, Annalie Waters has Six, seven, won one. the singles championship and women's doubles championship today with her mother Lee. Ben Johns is a men's doubles champion. There will be no men's singles final. Tyson McGuffin under the weather. So Johns also trying for a triple crown here. Boy. Catherine Parento doing her best to not let that happen. Nice shot, 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, and you know, she isn't known for the two-hander as much as some of the other ladies on tour, seven, but seven, it's seven, certainly one. there. And we saw it in its beauty right there. Second, there's seven. how you negate the drop to the backhand corner. With yeah. the awkward looking Ernie. Very seven, awkward. Seven, not athletic there, but uh, effective, more importantly. 7-7-2. Seven, seven, Up. I think that's, you know, we talked about people coming from tennis. Ben had a ball that was up that tennis players will be used to. One shot finish. He knew he was going to go down to Catherine, get a ball up, and then seven, finish seven, the one. second one. One, two, always, 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 and sometimes three, four. Got to have the paddle ready. And the one-handed redirect um, volley was a good example of the open stance shot that yes. you kind of have to, have to learn. You probably would not hit a ball like this Boy. in tennis. No, you'd be closing the net and split step finish like out in front with your right shoulder to the Eight, to seven, the net, one. not your shoulders facing the net. Uh, much different. Second server. That's one of those fastballs that the hitter is sitting on that they rip into the stands foul because she Eight, was seven, all two. over that. Eight seven two here. Parento right, right at Ben Johns to get the serve back. Seven, eight, one. That one's Second just going to go awry. Seven, eight, two. Again, there's that backhand battle that uh, Anna Lee is very comfortable on because she doesn't have to worry about the right side of her body. Eight, seven, Just one. swing. And then Ben comes in to finish. Second server. Eight, seven, two. Anna Lee, Boy. perfect. Slight delay forces Riley to yes. hit his shot a little deeper Nine, seven, and two. then catches him off guard. Well played there. Ben and Ali kind of using the middle a little bit. They're pretty comfortable with Riley taking that middle shot with his forehand. Yeah, we saw one nice 
forehand speed up in the men's, but much more dangerous off the bounce on the backhand. Speeds up, no problem for Ben. And we see Colin Johns right here in front of us just laughing because he knows the algorithm is working. 10, 7, 2. He has a coaching tip for Slide Catherine out. to potentially try to block that shot and stay in the point. 7, 10, 1. Just short. Second serve. Catherine almost climbing the fence there to throw that Seven, back up ten, there. Two. And that's what you want to do. Just if you're in trouble, throw it up as high as you can. Give yourself time to be set. Yeah. Oh, what a battle. Boy. Great hands by Riley there. He knew exactly Eight, where ten, Ben was going to place the ball. Put his pedal there. Let it do its job. Need a couple more here. There's one to make it 9 10. Your second serve. 9 10 2. Big point here for Waters and Johns. Ho ho ho. And that's what has to happen if you're the best player in the world at 9 10 2. Just tremendous 10, 9, hands. One. And you can see his great paddle position. And here's another second chance at game number one. And eye coordination, Point just game. amazing to watch up close from Ben Johns and Anna Lee Waters, 11 9. They get challenged right at the end, but eventually prevail in game one over Parenteau and Newman. So, final championship match of the day here at the Built Red Rock Open. A game in the books. Waters and Johns closer to a triple crown. Eleven nine after game number one for Waters and Johns taking on Parento and Newman as we start game two here in St. George. Side out. The first sorry, not sorry here in this match from Catherine Parento. Yeah, you'd much rather have that happen at zero zero than nine eight. What an opening one, point. Two, one. We had a lot of beauties in the first Point's couple of points in all the doubles matches today. Two, zero, one. There's the patented Colin John slide, one-handed backhand block. Two zero two. Yes, the only difference is uh, I think Anneli went two hands and CJ goes one hand, but yeah, similar play. Unbelievable gap right there. Oh, uh -huh. out. get the tough one then miss the easy one. I mean, unbelievable speed and athleticism to get that ball back. Zero, two, one. Oh. Second server. There you go, Riley. Zero two two. Hmm. Oh. Side out. Two zero one. Second Tough question for both you guys here. Whichever you wants to handle it. Last year at this time it was two, Ben zero, and Simone. Two. Now it's Ben and Anna Lee. Which team do you think is more potent? Of course, two players on the women's side that are in well, completely different right phases the of their careers. Point. 
we have a line call here. Well, Simone's the most decorated mm -hmm. player in the women's in the history of the women's game, and uh, really yeah. brought pickleball along as she was the face. The face of pickleball. Mm -hmm. um, so Zero, three, one. obviously, she has announced that uh, the amount of pro pickleball she'll be playing after this year will be minimal, if any. So uh, take nothing away from her. Zero, and three, two. what she has done, it's unbelievable what, what, what she has done and what she has accomplished right and, and still has her eyes on many prizes the rest of, of, of this year. I think what you have here, though, is a 15-year-old. Mm -hmm. Where one. is she going to go and how is that, how is that going to rise? Mm -hmm. uh, Arena, you have played against both of these, so I think you can speak to the challenges that both of those players create for the opponent on the other side of the court. I think uh, Ben and Simone partnership uh, just was a different dynamic. Mm -hmm. The points were longer, and you know Simone was dinking cross court forever and ever. But they were also a little bit more vulnerable because when Simone backs up into no man's land, she likes to counterattack, and uh, people were taking advantage of it just by standing in the kitchen. And then Ben was in trouble. So I think Anna Lee has a little bit more variety in that two. department, and I think the way Ben and Anna Lee play is a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more dynamic. They can do a few other things. Uh, the way Anna Lee can go after some of the guys and keep them honest yeah. um, is also slightly different. She is a little bit more of an aggressive player, so. Um, I think I would say Ben and Anna Lee are, are tougher, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And timeout on the court. 5 0 Parento and Newman temporarily in control. Game two here in mixed doubles. So a fast start here in game two for Parento and Newman. Anna Lee and Ben trailing 5 0. Still up a game, out. though. And they'll have to side out here. I'm going to guess Anna Lee called that. 100 percent. <laughs> That's the difference. You have the opposite ends of the spectrum on timeout usage here. Yeah, there's no question who's the alpha in this pa partnership. <laughs> on timeouts, it's uh, the youngster. One, five, one. I think overall. Anna Lee is the alpha. Second server. One, five, two. Riley slowly grinding away. One of the players also who never never give, gives up, competes. No. I think if I were to come up with one word to describe his style, I would Whoa. use tenacious. Right out. Yes. Yeah, this guy's never going to quit. You saw that one ball he tracked down. I don't know if there's another player on tour that would have gotten that and gotten it to safety Five, where one, he one. actually ends up going for a winner on the next one after that. That's insane. Go, go. ATP, Riley pulls it off. Anna Lee right there, though. Catherine oh. tries to do the same just a little bit wide. Yeah, and that's where that's where the tennis players have an advantage because you're used Five, to one, hitting two. a ball on the run and try and shape that down the line. Just didn't bring it in enough. Yes, yeah, a little bit easier to do that with this with strings. A lot easier. There's Anna Lee with another big shot. Trying to inch closer here. But, uh, you know, tennis is not necessarily a prerequisite for being good no. and pickable. Good example yesterday in men's doubles, Callum Dawson got bronze medal. He has uh, he played college baseball, holds his paddle ping pong style. Very different than some of the people play. And AJ was mostly focused on hockey. Karin Carr was a golfer in college. So um, Anna Barr playing volleyball. I mean, we got... Uh, you, you bring what you can. You know, the, there's ping pong one, players. Five, we have Daniel De La Rosa, the great racquetball player. And, you know, we talked about before, what do you take from each of these? So you look at things, okay, wow, that's what a high-level golfer Wait. brings to the sport. That's what a high-level 
volleyball player brings to the sport, reading court and openings, as uh, Susanna mentioned yesterday. So all of that obviously in play here. Newman willpower back in full working mode. Right mm -hmm. Five, two, one. Finally, tag's been that time for the point. And that's one where he wants Six, two, Anna one. Lee to reply to his initial attack in a certain way, and he's ready to finish. Second server. 6-2. Six, 6-2-6. Two. Six, two, six. Catherine did a decent job of surviving the first one, but then uh, sometimes you put your partner Two, in a bad six, spot one. and get him tagged like uh, Riley was there. Point. Catherine hits it in the net here. And a point for Waters and Johns. We are just next to the court here Three, in six, the one. VIP tent. Dave, this is probably my favorite setup that we've had so far here on the PPA Tour. Second server. As Anna Lee hits it into the net. See some of the players that have competed in this tournament. Three, Rob six, Cassidy's two. up here. Colin Johns is up here. Patrick Sullivan is up here. Jigsaw Health It is a who's who. Yeah. The world of pickleball. And what we love about this sport is everybody's got a great story, Dave, whether how they got in it, what they've been through, what they're going through to make their pickleball dreams come true. No doubt. Everyone Six, three, one. remembers very clearly the first time they played pickleball. I don't remember what? the first time I golfed or played. I just don't. But everyone knows the first time they played pickleball. It's unbelievable. Seven, three, one. And it's sort of this badge of this is when my obsession started. And Second I don't know seven. anyone that's quit the sport either. That's the that's the beauty of this game, the communal nature, the fact you can play it with seven, three, two. people of all ages and levels, and uh, that's why it's growing like gangbusters. And this is the best of the best in front of you. Side out. I concur. Three, seven, one. just made a ridiculous get when her team was in so much trouble Four, seven, but one. then just comes up short on that ball. Second server. Yeah, good team movement for Riley and Catherine. Um, Catherine knows that Riley's going to try to look two. to Ernie and be aggressive, so she slides and covers the court for him. Oh. Trying to recover. Point. Just couldn't do it. Yeah, Ben just ran right at him in the middle of the court and said, go ahead and attack. I'm not giving you an angle. So it's it's like a goalie cutting off a shooter. Five, seven, There's two. no angle. Go ahead and fire at me. I'm going to stop it. Side up. This is dangerous for Parento and Newman. They've been ahead this whole time. Seven, and now five, the lead, as you look up, it's just two. They've got to go now. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. Couldn't slide far enough to get that one. That might have ended up being wide. We'll never Eight, five, know one. for sure. But uh, that's the margins that you have to choose if you try and get it to the right side of somebody. Yeah. Oh, was that a left-handed shot? It sure was. Pulls one out of the hat. Timeout's been called by the receiver. But again, team. that is standard scores. business Nine, for five, Riley one. Newman. Any other player take a miracle to make that happen, but not this guy. No, that's you know the next level athleticism. It's the foot speed, it's the balance, and then it's the ability to take that paddle up there left-handed and squash an overhead. Most people couldn't even begin to generate both the technique and the power necessary. Boom, there oh. he goes, straight down. And then shows the world that, yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, you're not looking in the mirror. That was my left hand. You have never been to a PPA event some great sights throughout the rest of the year to come see us is Charlotte, North Carolina, the next tour right. stop, then Atlanta no after time that, time and then we head to California through the rest of 2022. Some of the most beautiful cities in the country. Dave, some great sights. Oh, yeah. There's a look at the time future in. menu coming up. Nine, five, two. Yeah, you, you love those three stops, but you know, you love Excuse them all. Me. They all have something score. unique that's special about, Nine, five, one. about them. We'll also be in some new places. Cincinnati will be in the D.C. area. So those of you on the East Coast, we've got that coming up this year, which is exciting. Midwest uh, for you sure. Ohioans. Speed it up. Here comes Riley. So Parenteau and Newman even it up at a game of peace. 11-5 in game two. Mixed doubles. This is what it is all about here in the PPA. Back to St. George after this. A game apiece here at the Built Red Rock Open. This is mixed doubles, and Newman and Parento just even things up. Drew Felios with Dave Fleming, Arena Tarashenko, and Hannah Johns. St. George, Utah, the site this week. And some great sights to come. We'll have more on that here momentarily as Waters and Johns. Let's see if they can rebound after a second game where they didn't fully look themselves. But Dave, for people who have not been out and seen this thing in person, still a lot more opportunities. Yeah, you can uh, not just come watch them play, but play right next to them. You know, there's, uh, look at the list and, you know, as, as you build your own career with uh, playing this sport, whether it's three, five doubles with your best friend next door, you can do it on the PPA Tour and have a lot of fun and then go watch this level. And, uh, it's what are the, some of the uniqueness in Zero, two, how one. pickleball is evolving, that you can still be 50 feet away from the heroes of this sport. And uh, as we've talked about, what can you learn and then aspire to do as you play? So Zero, look at two, the list two. and sign up for one that's uh, near your hometown. And um, yeah, that's uh, definitely one of the unique qualities of uh, pickleball, and I think that's why it has huge potential becoming one of the mainstream um, sports. Um, how many people who watch NFL go out and play, or you know, it's mostly played in junior high school and college, and then maybe a little bit in the backyard, but not competitively. And pickleball is one, one two, of the two. few sports that actually has spectators and fans are able to participate in the sport themselves throughout their whole life. Yep, I haven't been tackled since 30 years. <laughs> exactly, and we have some health benefits. Oh, we and, have a lot uh, of health benefits. It's and the safety um, maybe is not as much of an issue in pickleball as it is in, in football. 2-1 here, Parento and Newman.
longest point of the match so far. Oh. What a beautiful lob volley by Catherine Parento in the middle of that, which is how you can really catch somebody by surprise by taking that dink Two, one, out one. of the air. And then Anna Lee tracked that down beautifully and then came looking for a big finish, caught the net. Yeah, there were a couple of textbook one. plays in the previous point, and um, Catherine did a great job using a cross-court dink to kind of set up an opportunity for the lob, and then Anna Lee Three, showed one, a lot one. of discipline when retrieving that lob and not trying to counterattack. She resets the ball in the Second kitchen. Server. So well done by both. Yeah, and uh, Parenteau and Newman one, don't want to hear about any freaking triple crowns. Like, we're coming. Point. Four, one, two. And now 4 1 here in game three. Yeah, Catherine's been really sharp. I don't think she's made an unforced error since game two. Oh, spoke too soon. Well, not <laughs> that's exactly. not an unforced error. If that's an unforced error, I'm making a lot of them. Uh, one, four, one. Yeah. 81 shots Second in that server. previous rally. And uh, when you look at the third One, percentage four, definitely favors Newman and Parento as well. Just getting this point started. Catherine and Riley are keeping the ball to the outside to not let Ben just get in the middle and crash. Four, one, one. And so far it's working. Second serve. There's what happens when it's sitting in the middle. Yeah, that was the go-to play for Ben um, Four, one, to finish out game one. He basically looked to speed up at Catherine pretty much with the first opportunity and was successful there. Yeah. Catherine Point. and Riley have been able to slow the game down, force them to dink a little bit, and they keep some um, some attacks coming as well. So really Five, one, challenging Ben and Anna Lee and putting pressure on them. Ben and Anna Lee can't really afford to make some loose errors right now. They're starting to sense the urgency and that could make you a little bit more nervous. One, five, one. Yeah, and Anna Lee hasn't checked in on the behind Riley Newman lately. So he's gonna be even more eager to come pick off one of these cross court balls. Another tremendous point. Yeah. Oh. point. Riley can't believe Two, it five. after all that. He had exactly what he wanted. Yeah. Point. And Lee comes back and scores here. So trailing by two. Three, five, one. Arena, you've played this game for a long time. Timeout's been called by the receiving is team. There one one the score is there one point that stands one. out? Is there a greatest point you've ever played? If I had to ask you, hey, when was that? Ooh, the greatest point um, I ever played was actually recently. It was at Nationals. Uh, Leah Jensen and I were playing against Tracy Jagger and Susanna Barr, and we probably hit like 20 lobs in one point, and then just wow. Susanna was hitting overhead after an overhead, and she was like really into it, putting some grunts behind it, and Lay and I just digging deep all the way back to the fence and just throwing lob after lob after lob. That was that was super fun. I like points like that. Good question. Timeout remaining. I mean, so many of them you've remaining. been a part of, but obviously, uh, you know, tough to pinpoint one. But for you, the answer was easy. Dave? Yeah, I think, you know, when I think about a special point, yes, it's good. usually going to be something that has meaning beyond just the greatness Four, five, of the one. point. So, 
you know, I point to when uh, had one of my first big wins as I started playing senior pro with David Redding out at uh, Nationals also, as a matter of fact. So same same, mm -hmm. same spot, but just the, the winning point. My parents were there, you know, just wow. it's, it's part of the family. And, you know, we were relatively new to this this whole thing. So when you become legitimized by a result and by hard work and your family's there to share it with you, that's 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 what's, Four, five, what two. stands out for me and always will. I actually remember another great point that deserves to share. That Please do. The first place, um, I was playing mixed doubles with Ben Johns. It was the Side finals up. of the um, SoCal Classic at the Bobby Riggs. We were playing Tyson and Andrea. and. On the match point, that point basically had any oh. every sick trick and any wow. trick shot you can imagine. Uh, a couple of ATPs, a couple of birds, a tweener, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been pretty popular. It's gotten viral a few times, and once in a while, people kind of resurrect it and bring it back. But uh, that was fun to be part of that point as well. And I can vouch not that Arena needs my uh, vouching serve. for it. I was a spectator of that okay. sport standing five feet away as they won on when you five, win. Four, so two. they win on a point of complete chaos. Wow. So, uh, yeah, that was a great moment out in Encinitas. Definitely have to search that one. 5-4 lead here for Newman and Parento. Yeah, you don't want to attack up towards the Newman backhand. You're just not going to be able two. to reply to the ball going down. And good discipline by Catherine early in that point when um, Ben attacked down the line. She didn't counter. She just reset it, neutralizing the point. Yeah, Catherine is just a machine in this match. She really is. say just be ready so after all that and then she fended off the lob that didn't get the depth she had hoped uh, then she put it in a dangerous little spot and Ben, Four, six, ben one. caught her continuing to persevere. Be yeah, Ali Four, took six, the first two. swing there and Catherine was ready. Point. Nice good setup by Anna Lee. She put quite a Five, bit of six, spin two. on that roll dink. And Ben is able to capitalize off of that. Side out. Now side out to Parento and Newman. Tied a game apiece. Six, five, Definitely one. had a couple of classic Ben Johns eye rolls <laughs> so far in this game. Second server. Basically when he misses the ball, he's just surprised him. He's like, how could I miss that? Six, five, two. job by Newman of attacking both sides of the body there. So uh, it's hard to defend Seven, five, quickly. Two. Caught the paddle side on the second one. Side up. The rare error so far today by Parento. So let's see if that can trigger a run from Waters five, seven, and Johns. One. It's Six, seven, one. Oh, Ben 
couldn't do anything with that Second one. Second serve. Second serve. Six, seven, two. Catherine slips, gets back up. That was a good reset right there. What a point that was. The lady's just so solid, and then Riley snuck in there but couldn't do enough with it, and Ben caught yes. Catherine in an awkward spot. 7-7-2. Seven, seven, Tied once again at 7. Catherine now all alone, and Ben just drops it point. right in the kitchen. Timeout's been called by the receiving team. So 8-7, Waters and Johns. Seven, They've made a run here in this second game. And when we come back, they'll try and close things out. Tied in a game here at St. George. Eight seven here, game three. Waters and Johns have reclaimed the lead from Parento and Newman. Can they continue to apply the pressure? Let's see as Annalise serves here. Another beauty from Ben. And that's a, all about anticipation because you know that ball off the tape is going to just seven, have two. to be lofted back over. But in this case, it's so close to the sideline, he can jump it. That time, Annalie just stood in there ready with the forehand instead of the full slide, and Ben came over and finished, and looky there, they 10, 7, have the game point. Oh, oh Annalie can't believe it. Side out back to Parento and Newman. One. Cord was not kind there because she was ready. Riley went for the same speed up three times, and the first time he kind of got punished for it, and then he got lucky the next two times. Second serve. There comes Ben with the smash. Second serve here. Yep. There you see it. Eight, the ten, new two. paddle, the Yola paddle. Carbon fiber instead of fiberglass. Just working it through, but uh, still. <laughs> Able to generate plenty of pace. Of course, yeah. the Boy, paddle right. business as Riley scores, they're exploding, Dave, and it doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon. Yeah, I think everybody's looking to either find the right partner, find the right spokesperson, and 
you know, find the right technology of everything from a table tennis dominant player like Yola coming in. You have Selkirk, which just does pickleball. We got Tyson McGuffin playing with their Selkirk Labs paddle with the little smiley face. We have Paddle Tech, who's been there since the beginning, which is what Irina plays with. Um, just everyone's trying to find that angle because the pie as a whole is getting bigger. So uh, it's it's fun to see. Yes, um, the, I would say um, my personal opinion is that the tennis uh, brands that have been in the pickleball business, they are yet to develop like a good high performance paddle. They certainly have some intermediate and beginner paddles that are pretty good, but you don't see too many top players playing with the tennis paddle brand. Which I think is just uh, just interesting. Big point here, and there's Ben coming through right with the Ernie. Huge move after a individual on a team called a timeout for a doubles team. That was Anna Lee again one. pulling that trigger and second chance to win game two, or excuse me, game three and get up to one. Let's see who speeds up first. It's Riley. Catherine obliges, yeah. and there you go. Second seven. And Ben is stunned. He didn't have the last one back. Ten nine two. Third chance. So game three to Waters and Johns, back and forth. A, a very slowed down game, interesting how it was played, Dave. And eventually, it's Johns and Waters. When we return, game number four, seesaw battle continues. We're back in a moment. Eleven nine, 9 Waters and Johns take game three. This is the final championship match of this championship Sunday. We have had some really thrilling moments here today, and could we have another on the horizon if Ben and Anna Lee can finish the deal? All right, please. Yeah, the double-triple would be uh, four, achieved, zero, zero, and uh, that's no small feat with the quality of the opponents across the board here. Point. I think we just missed the stat, but it was very interesting. One, two, it two. looks like Ben and Anna Lee actually won less points than Riley and Catherine, but they're ahead in the game. Similar to tennis, they can also, you just got to win the important points and the right points. Don't have to win them all. Yeah, if it's 7-6, 7, six, oh, six, seven six in tennis, okay. That's all right. Zero, one, one. <laughs> Second turbo. Again, when he sees Riley that far over and out of position, there is no way that ball Zero, can one, come two. back cross court. And good night. Side out. Okay. I know Ben doesn't have a plane to catch, but he is playing with some serious pace right now. One, zero, one. And, you know, this is what is hard for Anna Lee. She's got to just hit these rolling cross-court dinks after wild running around in singles, hitting winners, leading the charge in a great women's doubles match. And now settling in, and when she sees a ball that she wants to attack, she is 
eager to do so. Hasn't really caught that urge Second, a lot. Did on the point a couple ago, but really tough to reset your gear. She's doing it well. Zero, one, two. Side out. Seems like they have a lot more dinking here in the mixed than in the men's doubles and uh, women's doubles. By one, far two, today, one. and again, that's matchups dictate that, but you uh -huh. see that a lot in the mix where it ends up being uh, the women dinking cross court. We've seen a lot of that in this match, and then who can step in and finish one. like Ben was able to do so there. I think uh, what uh, Riley and Catherine did. Two, zero, one earlier which was they just they've decided early in the match they kept the ball out of the middle now and they've been willing to try and scrap this way riley finally puts it Second away server. and they had their chances in game three to keep extending that lead and weren't able to two zero two just Point. out and you also see Anna Lee just kind of serving the ball in, Three, right? Zero, the depth on the serve and the power is not there compared to singles. <laughs> Point. And uh, that's when he starts straddling the line and then just sliding right in front of you. There's Four, just zero, nowhere two. else to go with the ball. I love doing that play in, uh, in women's doubles. Um, just go a little Ben Johns look to Take the third shot a Point. little bit earlier, kind of hit it through the middle, yeah. and then just stand, stand there and clean up. And five, it's five two. nothing, just like that, guys. I think a point here. Oh, paddles will be hitting the ground. Yes, for sure. may result in a timeout. Much needed Point. because they are oh rolling. God. There's no chance this isn't a timeout. There's no way. Now it looks like they're going to wow, play it. They are going to go through it. Six okay. zero two. Maybe everybody's hungry and they just want to. Just want to go home. <laughs> Riley finally able to Side out. fight through that. <laughs> but the damage done here in game four, they have got Zero, a six, mountain one. to climb here. Ben saying that was my one for leaving it up and getting uh, Anna Lee hit. Second server. Yeah, in this case, that's got to be made because you're trying Zero, to give six, that two. momentum just a quick halt. And when an opponent misses a, a good ball, that's that's a huge miss potentially for how this will go. Just they get rid of the zero. That miss before by Riley's gone. One, six, two. And they get a little run together. one out of the hat. So that's the shot that keeps Ben honest. Now it's in the budget that she's going to go two. there a few times and you're going to get beat, but uh, critical moment. Catherine, perfect execution. Players moving the ball around. Hmm. Oh. Point. Phenomenal exchange, a little unlucky at the end. Yeah. Yes. To Three, have six, the net cord play a role in finishing that was unfortunate, but that's the way it works. Right up. But Catherine had uh, Ben on the wrong foot there, but he's so unbalanced that he doesn't panic and he just lays that six, back three, in the one. kitchen. <laughs> Over 
bring over the net is Riley Newman. Snuck it past her. Yeah, so if it doesn't bounce, he can reach in there, and then he's got options because she is not retreating Six, three, that far to the middle with Ben there. It's a nice finish. Right out. So Waters and... John stuck at six for a Three, little six, bit one. here. So uh, I send the same warning I sent to Newman and Parento in the first. Second like, server. you got to go when you have the chance because the other team will reply. Yeah, there's been some opportunities that have Three, been given six, away two. by both sides here. Ben and Anna Lee trying to get the serve Light back. Up. They'll do that here. And yeah, a very high third set off a. Easy finish on the third chance. Six, three, one. No harm done. Left it up. Second Newman took care of it. Yeah, good job by Riley of starting that with an attack at Anna Lee. Six, three, two. Side out. Hmm. A little bit up and down. Yeah, we'd lost Three, some six, of the one. mojo here yep. in this match. Just when you say that, uh, Dave, business some, picks up. There was some mo and some Joe in there, and uh, Parento and Newman. Four, six, one. Yeah, Catherine on fire. She defended blocked last three attacks by Ben and then Riley ends up being a little bit more successful attacking Anna Lee and that's why we're still pretty close in game four Ooh, definitely a bait oh, on Riley's the part there she did, and Anna Lee just called a timeout, and the way the game works is both players have to participate in that timeout. <laughs> we'll take a timeout and come back in a moment. Five, six, one. Five, six, one with Parento Point. and Newman here trying to battle back. Seesaw battle continues here. Mixed doubles. Six, six, one. Now knotted at sixes. Point. And the first lead here in game number four. And take a look at Alan Roman. Seven, six, one. He along with Don Stanley and Maxine Berman officiating. Second server. You just heard the very quiet Catherine Parento, sorry, left it, left it up and got you tagged. Sorry. Seven, six, two. Yeah, Riley and Catherine definitely putting in the work to stay in this game. Also saw Riley take a couple of um, pills during the timeout. Maybe there's a little bit of uh, wear and tear on his body. He's been playing a lot of pickleball just Light today. Mm -hmm. And he's certainly hoping to go in game five. So probably a necessary measure. Six, seven, one. Yeah, here we go again at six. Oh. Catherine knows she can't just do anything crazy there. She's got to lay that back in the kitchen if she can, but the momentum off the net cord there, very difficult spot. There's Ben coming through. And that's what he wants. He wants that big. Tough, hard roll cross court and then Eight, seven, one. sitting in the middle for the next one. Oh. 
well. Second server. So that's a much more difficult dink coming down the line and then having Eight, to seven, redirect seven. that on the backhand flat footed cross court. Yeah, Riley. Right Riley Newman, another big shot to get the serve back here. Yeah, good awareness there. Ben ran around his backhand to hit seven, a forehand. Eight, so his court positioning was just a bit off there and then left it up. That's a recipe for a Newman winner. Second server. Nice change up from Anna Lee. Yes. Seven, eight, two. Change the angle of the attack. Catherine wasn't quite ready this time. Nice yeah. Side out. And we haven't seen nearly as much of that yes. happening of Ben setting up Anna Lee. We've certainly seen that in other mixed doubles matches that they've played, but it's been mostly the reverse of that. And that's a testament to um, Catherine's and Riley's dinks. No doubt. They're keeping the ball low, putting a little bit of extra topspin on it, keeps it down. Just. Oh. Filthy. I mean, curls that on the line in the corner on on a big sprint too. That was clutch. Point. Ten seven one. So here we are, championship point here on championship court. Oh, Second serve. Trying to take that ATP. Second serve here. Two-handed ATP yes. by Riley, one-handed by Ben. Both effective. Oh. Right out. Riley Newman keeps it alive. Crown manufacturers Seven, ten, hit one. pause just for a minute. Let's keep playing. Point. So finally, things start to yes. pick up here, Dave, and yes. four. We had a lull. Eight, ten, well, one. crunch time, we're lull free. Just wide. Timeout's been called by the receiving team. So so one minute timeout, timeout going to be called 10 9. 9. One. Waters and John's trying to hang on to that lead. Parento and Newman closing quickly. Yeah, and when you had everything on your paddle, and it was a wonderful point that ends up going for Parento and Newman. Now, wait, what? It's 10 9? And they're serving on a one? Okay. Anna Lee again calling timeout. And, uh, you know, Riley and Catherine have played brilliantly here today. Now they're just a point away from tying this up. And then all sorts of things are on the table. Game fives, pressure, but they got to get the next one. It looks like Riley's shoulder is a little bit sore from hitting multiple overheads yeah. over and over again. And yeah, if looks you like notice, like Riley actually puts in a lot of effort uh, in his shots, so that probably takes a little bit more wear and tear on his body versus, you know, when Ben is a little bit more efficient um, and a little bit more effortless when he goes for the putaways. Ben Johns, <laughs> the emphatic finisher. Yeah, and Ben walked out there and said, all right, my partner called timeout. I'm speeding up the first thing I see, and he did it. Catherine, she was ready, but uh, got one. Can they get the ball back here? Right 
right now. They're really attacking Anna Lee, it seems, Dave. Well, the, again, they're hoping she takes the bait yes. on a ball that's just a little ten, up ten, because two. she doesn't get a chance to crack a lot in this match. And Riley won that exchange again, and we're tied at 10. Missed. Uh, the quality of points have been absolutely amazing in mm. the last five minutes. 10, 10, 1. Win by two. Point. And now a point away. Yep, second crack at it, and rough time to see one of the. I mean, her percentage is on Dinks today by Parenta has been amazing. Oh. Ernie for Parento. Foot fault's going to be called. Oh, hit the net. It's All right, referee here. Replay the rally. Oh, referee error here played on championship point. So it wasn't a football referee initially called that Catherine's paddle touched the yes. net and um, 11, 10, one. then quickly retracted his statement. All players agree, fantastic. Game on, no, no harm. Ben simply not going to let the match continue. There it is, Waters and Johns complete the double triple. Champions once again here at the Red Rock Open concluding a magnificent championship Sunday. Yeah, I mean, they really had to work. Uh, I know Riley Newman's going home without winning today, but his level in the men's and the mixed was fantastic. It was a grind, and you know we we hit that lull in the middle of, of that last game there, and I think the lull happens because we're into these same patterns of rolling dinks, and you have to be mentally tough and just a little bit more for Ben and Annalie. But what a match, and congratulations to those two superstars as they win all three in each side. Well done. What a performance by Ben Johns and Anna Lee Waters. They'll be crowned champions when we return. Championship Sunday about to come to its conclusion here in St. George after a hard fought mixed doubles final. Anna Lee Waters, Ben Johns, champions once again. They're standing by with Hannah. We're on center court one last time with our champions, our mixed doubles champions, Ben Johns, Anna Lee Waters. Guys, you've got a lot of hardware around your neck right now. What's it for? I mean, so we came here today super early. I played women's doubles and I won in a tough four setter. Then I came out here, played singles after Ben won his men's doubles. I won that in three and now here we are. We won the mixed doubles in four and I just couldn't be happier. Well, it earns you both the Triple Crown here together, something that's only been done a couple of times, I think, in the past by you and Simone. Um, but congratulations to you both on that big honor. Uh, ben, let's talk about the paddle. I know you signed with a new sponsor just about 11 days ago. Talk about some of the challenges of starting with a new paddle and learning the ins and outs of that. Yeah, well, first, I just want to thank them so much. Uh, the Yola squad has been so amazing. Uh, you know, just, just uh, being with them is a new experience, and I've enjoyed every second of it so far. Um, as far as switching paddle goes, they, uh, they let me put my entire input into designing the paddle from the, the very start, which I absolutely love to do. So, you know, I design it with everything I want uh, in mind. And, of course, there's always an adjustment period of uh, something new. But, uh, you know, I, I couldn't be happier with what we designed and uh, looking forward to all the stuff we can do together in the future as well. Well, let's talk about this crowd we've had out here all week. They've been here from start to finish. Some of them showed up at 7 o'clock this morning to stake out spots for these finals today. How awesome have they been? I mean, they've been awesome. I was here around like 8 o'clock, and there were already people in the stands like cheering while we were warming up. So it's definitely a great vibe here in Utah, and they helped pull us through in that last one. All right, guys, congratulations again. We're going to bring Connor Ogden on court now with a trophy full of built bars to give you that. Connor. 
I thought it was only fitting since you two are footies to fill it with built bars, since I know that's a big deal with you guys. Uh, congratulations, guys, on uh, doing the hardest thing in pickleball is earning a triple crown at the highest level, both of you. Um, it's a huge honor to have that, and uh, we're really proud of you guys and what you're able to accomplish. And so on behalf of the PPA and built bar, uh, congratulations on the triple crown, both of you. Let's go ahead and give them a big round of applause. Drew. So a fitting end to the built Red Rock Open. The two stars of the game, faces of the game, Ben Johns, Anna Lee Waters, and the upcoming tour stops headed to Charlotte May 8th, May 5th through the 8th, Atlanta after that, and mid-May, and then heading to San Clemente in June. Dave Fleming, final thoughts here from St. George. Yeah, I think what we see here is what best of five is all about. You can afford a loss, but if you win the first two, that is no guarantee, as we saw as the Johns had the claw all the way back. But uh, I think each week the best players are pushed by everyone that's even with them, and we had some deserving Triple Crown winners here today. Arena, thank you so much for all the expert commentary. We hope to have you back here very soon. Thanks for having me, guys, and we can all agree this was a great day for sports. Let's go. It certainly was. For Arena Tarashenko, Dave Fleming, Hannah Johns, and our phenomenal crew here at the Built Red Rock Open, I'm Drew Felios. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in Charlotte.